I think I saw you in chat the other night, Needles. I think you guys were talking about tacos or something. I was reading through the chat. I thought, well, that's a good topic, tacos. Jersey is stupider. <laughs> I'm all, Neil, you know me, dude. I'm as money making entrepreneurial as they come. I can't grasp it though because I'm 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 really really trying. I'm gonna give it some thought though. When you say me renting out, you don't mean Chris Keller. You mean like some other corporation or some other company? Who would do it? There's too much politics involved. Southern Hobby can't do it because then. It just doesn't work. But I would love to just fly out there and know that I have set up. I just, the reason I go is to take all my stuff, all my banners, all my signage, all my coupons, my, my, the contests that I do, the promotions I run. Like I'm not going there just to break. I'm going there to be set up and be seen for four days. Top shelf breaks. Do you follow me on that one? Here you go. Good luck. This is Neil and Carter and Scotty Pets and Scorp and Tyson Ben. National Chicago, yeah. You mean rent cameras? You mean rent cameras? What are you saying to rent? What do I need to rent? Cameras and stuff? But I can't wrap my head around why I would pay someone to do that when I can just take my own computer, which is about this big. You know what I mean? I take my own computer, got all my hard drives on it, got all my screenshots the way I like them in XSplit. I know it all works. I got my two monitors. It's... Now, you could rent, I guess, the cameras, but what about the microphone? I like my microphone. What microphone am I going to use? Some crappy tinny microphone? Or are they going to have like 10 to choose from? You know? It's a lot of variables there, Keneal. <laughs> That's like you. Going to a convention and saying you got to use everyone else's stoves, pots, pans, everything to make all your food, which I guess you could do. <laughs> I'm doing the renting. Okay. I'm doing the renting. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, the egos are too big. No one's going to rent from me or anybody else. That's just a fact. I love the king chair, but they just won't do it. They will pay one of their employees to load up a truck and drive across country and have all their own stuff and have that employee or two pack everything up and drive it right back to their hometown. 
cost them 500 bucks. I'm just telling you how it works. They, I would, they won't do it. Ed, you got the Blue Jays again. Dual box of finest. It sounds easy, and I'm not trying to debunk it. I get it. Renting equipment, so the breakers just show up. I mean, there's like, I don't know, 15 of them, but they all have this whole big operation. They're, they're coming to bring their whole thing. They're not just going to show up and just bring in. Uh, they're taking their entire operation, all their signage, all their materials, all their cards they got. They set up in their, they claim their space. They claim their domain. You'll see when you're there. There's your teams, Ben. You got the Brewers, the Phillies, and the Rangers. Brewers, Phillies, Rangers, Ben. Boy, am I glad I cleaned out the front of the uh, shop today and I found these straggler finests. Oh, God, hell yeah, Ed. You, you were there. You sense it. Very territorial. Very protective. Now, there are... Here, listen. Listen to this one. I'm the type of business owner... That I like to take advantage of the national because I get to get in front of a bunch of people. I love, as Ed knows, he was there talking to the people, shaking hands, taking pictures, tweeting, Facebooking, hanging out, seeing everybody. Now, there's some breakers that go there and could give a flying rip about the people. They don't, they could give two craps about any potential new customers. People trying to figure out and learn about breaks, learn about the hobby, learn about the business, talk about the business, talk about the hobby. They don't care. They bring literally a laptop and a webcam and they sit there and just rip stuff. They don't have signage. They don't have handouts. They don't have anything. Me, I'm a people person. I love that stuff. I live for those moments, meeting people and just chatting it up, talking, having a good time. You know what I mean? But there's some there that just go and the last thing they want to do is have big signs up and talk to people and hand out stuff. They just want to do their breaks. And I don't know why they go then because you can do that at home. I know why they go because they want to go to the panini party and the, all the other parties and there's usually casinos around and they party and have fun. Yes, Tyson. That is correct. I mean, if you're a people person, which I know you are, Neil, you'll love it because it's just frenetic people everywhere. I got monster wheels, people spinning the monster wheel winning prizes. I got people entering stuff to win. I got people buying live spots with cash to get in breaks. And thank God Neil or uh, Tice will be there. And I don't know if Ed's making it or not. Ed runs security and he's the face meeting, greeting people, explaining to them. And it's 50 days away. 50 days away. I take part responsibility for that at the Breakers Pavilion because I think prior to me arriving, it was the first or second year they did it and everybody just 
didn't think like that. They just set up and did breaks. I show up and I got all kinds of banners and giveaways and prop promotions. Gold Jose Altuve's for the Houston Astros, which means that will go to Neil Kyle. <laughs> no. H handing out parallels. I love it. So what happened is, going forward, every national then became, you know, I got to make my booth bigger and better and cooler and more unique. And everyone kind of keeps trying to top each other. Okay, now I got to get a thing that holds a TV display above the booth. So they go out and spend money and buy this big thing that puts the TV up higher in a nice, you know, case for the TV and running these really high-end videos of what breaks are and just making it, which is good. That's what competition does. That's why I like it. Because it makes everybody better. Nice hit, Neil. Yes, trying to tops each other. Fifty days, Rob says tonight. That kind of gave me a little bit of anxiety. Just a little. I just want to get through freaking Father's Day and the Brady Quest. I'll feel better when those two are done. If that makes any sense. From there, I can focus on national, but I got to get these two promotions done. There's Rowdy. I should do Rowdy Talez protection if we get a Rowdy auto. Put $20 in the hopper. Lumanati's pizza. Chili with sour cream in it. Well, you ain't coming to no national, Tyson, if you don't book a flight. 99, Max Scherzer. So Neil, Neil Kyle, the fat cat. Oh yeah, because I'm going to talk to my cousin. I meant that. I meant we either need to have my cousin... Uh, Help us out, or we got to book it. That's what I meant. Corbin Burns. The Brewers. Ben D. <laughs> Deal. Hey, Ben, how about that? What was I going to say? I had a question for Neil or something I was going to say about Neil. What was I just talking about? Neil. That Corbin Burns. Yeah, but he plays for a pretty good team. Other one that is not named Chicago Cubs. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Look at that logo. Look at those colors. I mean, that's just beauty. That's what I'm talking about. Beauty. Look at that gorgeous logo and colors. Man. Number to 25, Billy Hamilton, is a Kansas City Royale. You do not like the Cubs logo? What? 
You do not like the Cubs logo. For real. I absolutely... And it's probably... It's probably doesn't... This could be the Padres. Just so happens that it's in my city. I love the blue, red, and white. It's red, white, and blue. But doesn't look patriotic. It doesn't look like cheesy red, white, and blue. It's... It's... Dope. So there. I love it. I'd probably marry it. I'm going to marry the team colors of the Cubs. How about that? That's how much I love it. It's not red, white, and blue? Oh. I thought that was red, white, and blue. There's red, there's white, and there's blue. I think it's white, blue, and red. Well, yes, that's exactly what I meant. That, therefore, is exactly what I said and exactly what I meant. You just phrased it differently. Look at those goofy colors. I don't like them. Just kidding. Woo! Sexy. That says Sexy Martinez. <laughs> He's a Cardinal. And what that means for the Cardinals is that Scorpio Ed Douglas will get that card. Ed, you're rich. Book your flight. There you go. You got a Jose Martinez card. I'm surprised you guys didn't buy those Game of Thrones boxes. I uh, reduced them. I think that's a deal at those prices for a personal box of Game of Thrones with three autos per box. Or two autos and a relic. Tyson, how long did you say the drive is to Chicago from Texas? Anderson. Man, Anderson hasn't been around in a while. I'm going to have to hit him up. Where's his ass been? 15 hours. Tyson, I got to tell you, dude. You can't with Gio. What do you mean you can't? That sounds like a reason to buy them since you read the books and watched the series. Don't you want to have some screen-worn outfits of, of, say, Cersei or, you know, whoever? Some autographs of the characters for your collection of cards that you get that you don't sell? Oh, I know what I wanted to ask you. Remember I forgot earlier? What I wanted to... <laughs> it just came back into my brain. All the cards that you have, Keneal, um, that you've gotten here, local card shop, wherever else, you're, you're, you're telling me that you are bringing all of those to national or majority of the dopest ones? Uh, 
Another Cardinal. Ed. Stealing the break. Uh, all of them. Wow. Wow. <laughs> and are you going to sell them all? Or what? What are you going to do with them? Take them around and sell them at the National for cash? Are you going to try and sell the whole collection? I wouldn't do that. It would be too hard to determine the price. All of them. All of them? Man, I, I see your mail days. I ship them personally. That's a lot of freaking cards. You mean all of them meaning the ones that you deem that are dope? Well, what we can do is I can put him at the TSB booth. I have one of those dope display cases I'm going to buy. Lockable, safe, secure. And you can put your dopest of your dopest cards in there to showcase them. We'll get some buyers for you there. Mariano Rivera. Well, Tyson, ask Ed. If you work for me, there is no time off. That doesn't exist. So, it's like the mafia. You don't. You can't. You don't get time off or half it. Or it's like you're all in, dude. Ship them to me, Ed, for a fee. I'll keep them and sell them for you. hundred and eighty hit packs. Yes. I'll tell you the best part of the national is Sunday after the Panini party because that's when all the golds and silvers I put them in my boxes and sell them. 